Welcome to this week's version of What to Watch For, presented by C.J. Wilson Mazza, alongside Kobe Jones, Joe Tatino. The Galaxy back on the road after their little homestand here. Now it's time to go to the Columbus Crew. Galaxy in fourth place in the Western Conference. Columbus in sixth in the Eastern Conference. Let's start first of all, Kobe, playing at Columbus. For whatever reason, historically, it's been a difficult place. Yes, it has. I mean, uh, it, it's tough to explain, you know, having played there before. Uh, it's almost like it's the atmosphere, it's the field, it's everything that surrounds us. It's just one of those situations that the LA Galaxy always have a tough time. We have won there before, we, we, you know, we have uh, drawn there, but it's, it's mainly it just the games have been difficult no matter what when we are at Columbus. Mentioning the Galaxy in fourth place, playing well, Columbus not so well. No, it's two teams that are going in opposite directions. And you look at the LA Galaxy, they have been very successful in their last 12 games. And as compared to Columbus, the last 11 games, they only have two victories. So two teams going in the opposite opposite spectrum. Um, I have a feeling right now that things, you know, when it's like that, the LA Galaxy tend to pounce on teams that are having a difficult time. And that's very good. That's what you want from a team that is planning to make a run towards the playoffs, as we see right now for the Galaxy. They need to go in. They need to really, you know, stamp their game upon this Columbus team when they are struggling, you know, and, and see if they can get a result. And it's, it's all about, you know, what we've seen in these Columbus games. The last few matches, the last four games or so, no one scored in the first half. If the Galaxy can get a goal right off, I think we're going to see a good result for them. Looking at Columbus, they go by way of one man. It used to be Scalotto, now it's Iguain, Federico Iguain. He leads them in all offensive categories. If you can keep him under wraps, you have a good chance. Yes, and that's the issue, you know, for Columbus. If Iguain isn't having a good game or another team comes in and shuts him down, they struggle. That's what the LA Galaxy has to do. Make sure that Iguain, when he tends to drop underneath or if he goes wide, that someone is always around him. You know, if you, you can't necessarily, a player of his quality, shut him down all the time. So it's about shutting those passes down that go into him. It's about closing down that midfield and making sure that he doesn't get the ball, frustrate him a little bit. And you see Iguain tends to react, you know, quite a bit. Head goes down, loses himself within mm -hmm. the game. Now we've talked about, of course, Landon Donald. We've talked about Robbie Keane, Jossie Zardes, a player you know very well, now a member of the Galaxy again, Alan Gordon. What do you want to see from him on the Galaxy bench or as a starter? Well, first of all, let's look at that relationship. You know, the San Jose LA mm -hmm. Galaxy continues, players hopping back and forth. Um, for Alan Gordon, we want to see what he brought to San Jose. You know, a very different type of player, you know, as most Galaxy fans will say, when Alan Gordon left, you know, to go to San Jose, everyone was kind of like, okay, that's kind of, that's fine. You know, he mm -hmm. wasn't contributing as much as they thought that he should. When he goes to San Jose, all of a sudden, an explosion. The talent comes out. You see he's using his body much more. He's battling up front. You know, those are the types of things that you, we want to see when he's back here. Someone that is very competitive in nature now. Someone that can go up front and do the things that you want from, like, a number nine striker that can hold the ball, that can bring other players into the game. And, and let's be honest, be that other goal scorer that maybe – comes off the bench, you know, in those last 10, 15 minutes that can create chaos in front of another goal and gives uh, the Galaxy another aspect in the attack, that ability to really be dangerous on set pieces because of the size and dangerous in the air, dangerous off of crosses. You know, Landon Donovan, they're going to honor him prior to the game in Columbus, so Major League Soccer's version of the retirement tour is getting underway. When you played in your final season, at some point you knew it was going to be your final season. Can you give into some insight as to what Landon might be going through now? I can guarantee you, now that he's announced it, he's announced the retirement, that it's hitting him at another level that he's realizing this is it there's still that little bit of separation where trust me he's not going to know what it's like until he actually steps away from the game that it's very different but now as he, he i guarantee you, he's looked at the schedule he sees where the games are he sees the places that are going to be the last time that he's going to step on the field as a player you know in these different stadiums in these different environments so it's going to be a little bit of about reflection for Landon before the game, but especially after the game. You know, yes, there's going to be the ceremony, which is very important. But I guarantee you, after the game, take a look at Landon Donovan and what he's doing, because he's going to realize, you know, at Columbus, this is the last time that I'm going to be playing here as a player, you know, be it, you know, with the national team and be it with, with an MLS team. You know, so these are going to be, you know, very poignant moments, things that are going to touch Landon. Um, physically, you know, to a degree. It's going to be sad moments, and I expect him to take those little extra moments after the game, regardless of the score, you know, to really look around and look at the fans and enjoy, you know, that experience of having been there as a player and being there participating. It's tough to explain, but, you know, I, I, I want to tell Landon, 
make the most of it. Enjoy that moment, you know, and what it's all about because, you know, once it's gone, it doesn't come back. We'll have all the moments for you Saturday at Time Warner Cable Sportsnet. It gets underway. The Galaxy on the road at Columbus at 430. For Kobe Jones and Joe Tatino, thank you for viewing this week's edition of What to Watch For, presented by C.J. Wilson Mazda.